Imagine an expert advisor that actually advises. An indicator that tells you what comes next and not what has already passed. At MetaNeural, we don't have to imagine, and neither do you. For years, neural network technology has been used by the most successful hedge fund managers and trading firms in the world. Now, the ability to use your personal computer to detect and trade complex patterns in the markets has never been easier. An advisor that learns never becomes obsolete. Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about the collection indicator, its various options, and how to operate it. Uh, so I, the first thing we should mention is that the collection indicator is primarily for collecting market data. Uh, directly from MetaTrader um, and exporting it into a CSV file uh, which can later be imported into our uh, neural network software for processing. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the indicator. The first thing I should mention is uh, the indicator is capable of collecting raw market data as far as open, high, low, and close, uh, as well as almost any indicator that you can input, um, which is very easy. Uh, for this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to export uh, the moving averages indicator as well as open, high, low, and close. Now the reason I would do that is what we're trying to do is gather as much data as possible about each bar in relation to the indicator so we can get the best pattern that we possibly can, um, the most complex pattern um, which in turn will give us the most accurate output um, which is our goal. Uh, what this software does is it finds the most complex patterns and makes them simple. Um, it determines where the market's going to go next by these complex patterns. Okay, so let's input these options. The first thing we should determine is um, what market data do we want to collect in relation to our indicator. Okay, let's go ahead and input some values. Uh, the first thing that you'll want to do is select the output type. Uh, the idea with this is that whatever you select, uh, open, high, low, close, or data, which means uh, the indicator, um, will be the value that all the other uh, pieces of data will be subtracted from. Um, the idea being uh, we're finding relationships between uh, your sort of main output type and uh, all the other data points. Uh, for this, we can select the close which is output type 4. So we'll enter 4 there. Uh, next we'll put in our indicator name which is already there, moving averages. What you'll do is type in the name exactly as it uh, appears in your your navigator panel so the exact name of the indicator um, next we'll go down to custom indicator settings and what this is is basically just uh, a list of the indicator settings in this case moving averages that we want to use is SMA 14 so it uses a period shift of 14 uh, a period of 14, a shift of 0, and a method of 0. So that's how I end, we'll enter it. 
So let's go back. We've got our 14, 0, 0. The indicator mode is 0. Uh, what indicator mode is, is this value here. You'll find that many indicators have several modes. Uh, and what we're doing is capturing one mode at a time. Um, so moving averages only has one, zero, so that's what we'll input. Use indicator must be true. Uh, you can also collect market data without any indicators whatsoever. Uh, just pure open, high, low, close. Um, but today we'll just use moving averages and uh, to do so we have to select true. Um, the predicted bars are the uh, amount of bars you'd like this neural network software to project into the future. Um, for the purposes of this video we'll do one. We can do between one and three. The total network input, um, that is a grouping of bars within the uh, larger uh, number of history bars that you are collecting. Um, the, way, the reason we do this is that it improves accuracy for uh, pattern recognition. Uh, a quick way to understand this is if we're uh, collecting 5,000 bars and we have an input uh, amount of 5 for our, our group, it'll be the equivalent of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bars in each group. And after that group, you'll have the uh, output bar. This is the bar that's uh, going to be predicted. But when we're collecting, uh, obviously, it, we already know what that bar is. The idea here is for the software to learn what the next bar will be based on all the thousands of small patterns that it learns from. And the uh, part of those patterns here are the, the data groups, um, so the input groups. So if we collected 5,000 bars, it'll be the equivalent of collecting um, hundreds of these data groups uh, in fives in this case. So it looks something like that. And it would just keep going back all the way to the last bar that we're collecting. So in this case we'll do five. Predicted bars one, indicator true, output type for for close. Uh, there's also a, an option here for range hour. Um, we're going to forego that. The idea though being you can uh, isolate certain sessions or random time ranges uh, that you'd like to collect. If you only want to trade those sessions, uh, you'll get a much more accurate um, training and testing of your neural network uh, if you narrow your collection down to this, just those sessions uh, going back through time for thousands of bars. In this case we're going to uh, export 10,000 bars which is a, a pretty good uh, amount to start with. This is the hourly chart. And uh, finally the file name. Um, what I like to do with the file name is make it uh, some sort of small description of the, the makeup of our uh, collection uh, file. So I used uh, moving averages MA with a period of 14 uh, on the Euro H1 time frame. Um, input was 5. Uh, predicted output is 1 
and the total bars was 10,000. You'll notice when you do many of these uh, and they start piling up, it's very helpful to uh, just look at the file name and know what the, uh, the contents are. So it's a good practice. So we'll go ahead and do our collection. And it's as fast as that. Um, I didn't uh, speed this video up. Uh, it, uh, it's a pretty fast process. So we've exported. Now let's take a look at what our CSV looks like. It's in the experts files folder. There it is. Uh, not very large either. Let's open it up. As you can see, we've got a lot of data in here. Um, and it goes back for 10,000 bars. Those data groups that I mentioned are what we'll see in the uh, the uh, the first row here, the header row. So um, we collected open highs, lows, and closes, um, and each represents its group. So the first group is open zero, high zero, low zero, close zero, and you'll notice the close is all zeros because it is subtracted from itself. Uh, everything else is subtracted from close and it's also subtracted from itself um, so uh, that was pretty self-explanatory but uh, it's it's an easy process and uh, we have lots of support documents and um, help along the way if you need it um, basically the next step is to use our uh, collected data and import it into our neural network software. Uh, I'll do that uh, tutorial next. Thanks for listening and um, happy trading.